Originally, I was planning on building a vanity for the bathroom, but I found this beauty. This is brand new. I picked it up for a couple hundred dollars, and the reason it was so cheap was in shipping, it had some splits on the legs here, and the countertop itself has a crack in it. This thing is way too big for the area that we have to put it in. That works out really well for us, because it means we can take off the end drawers of it, I think, but most importantly, we can cut off the break. So this thing is just gonna save a ton of time. It works really well. It has all the nice anti-slam doors. I'm gonna get that unloaded. We got eight more layers to put on that wall between the tub and the entry to the courtyard. So we're gonna go put a few more layers on it. So this will get us halfway there. Halfway so. there. Uh, oh. Well, let's go get started, huh? Surprisingly, it's not taking us as long as I thought it would to get these layers. I pulled out bottles, you can see here too. So these will be various bottles. We'll be labeling and painting up with our blue. So that'll be good. That little wave right there, that's what we need to do. That's the plan. Maybe we'll get started a little bit more bagging. Sounds good. Okay, I think we know what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think we got a plan. Chop, chop, bang, bang. Voila. To fit it in the slot there, we need to cut down quite a bit. If we make it the exact width of our slot in there, you have to cut it like right down this line right here, and it would leave this little weird gap all the way down. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna make it a little bit shorter. We're gonna move this post here to right on the edge of this here. Essentially delete the drawers on this side, and the drawers on this side. That'll allow us to fit it in the slot, and then we'll cut the countertop wider to go all the way to the walls. It and is freestanding too, so it almost seems like it's not supposed to be like installed yeah. into the wall. Yeah, because so. it is on legs and stuff, not like an actual cabinet. So I think it, it may look better actually. Yeah, that's what we got to work with. Yep, so let's pull the drawers off this thing, pull the side off, and see if we can get one of the sides moved. <laughs> Oh boy, oh, I hate to cut it up. <laughs> I know, me too. We tried to figure out how to fit it in there, but it would come into like behind the toilet and it would not have looked good. No, so. I wouldn't have been able to open the doors because yeah. the toilet's in there. Can we get some of these ready for today too? Different color blues. What do you think, Yui? Yeah, you think it looks nice too? Oh, it's good. This cap thing broke, so I'm just using it and I'm dumping the paint in. And these different ones, and then I'm taking it and I'm just swirling it around, as silly as that sounds. The blue bottles coming down on the shower section is going to be the waterfall. So these blue bottles here are going to be the bottles that will be part of that as we continue to build that shower up. What's going on over here? We are getting some bottles painted. Right. Having fun with the broken bottle. Balloon! Look at my fingers, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> We got one side done. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. We'll get maybe a little touch up paint and hit the cracks, but. You wouldn't know. That was the plan. Let's try and do the other side the same way. The drawers come off the runners. Like that. Isn't that weird? It's kind of cool. <laughs> looks really good. Looks like it was built that way, which is exactly what we were hoping for. I'm gonna grab the tabletop now, throw it on there, get some measurements, and hopefully start cutting that thing down to the right size. Hey there, kid. You helping out? Yeah. yeah. Testing okay. the sturdiness. 59 and a half. I know what I need to do, my dear. Okay, just like so. Here, hold that for me. 
All right, I know when you're trying not to chip or scratch things, you tape it a lot of times. Don't think this is actually gonna help with this one specifically, but I'm gonna try because it just seems like I should try. Okay, that's my line. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh boy. So you're gonna use a tile blade for your... Yeah, the same thing that we used to cut the tile in the bathroom there, I'm gonna try on this as well. It should work. I know typically like tile saws and stuff, a lot of them have water that run through them, so. Hopefully we're okay. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Okay, kiddo. Dad's gonna cut. We've got a little bit more plumbing to do. We've uh, went down and bought a few more parts and picked up the necessary parts to get the drain to work correctly. Last few pieces of the drain. Just together. I need to cut it. At least I know. Nice cut. That'll go together with this. And then this will get the drain down. What do you think of me so far? I like it. All right, it's beautiful. The parts we installed was a P-trap that helps to keep smells from coming back up the pipe. Whoa. I'm blue. <laughs> Spills a little paint on me. Ooh, smurfed. I've been smurfed. We trap those up with water and it only flushes out what it needs to in that little section. And that's kind of a normal thing that goes Very out. normal. Oh, everybody's house has one, so. One of the final plumbing things is to get our supply in the hot, the cold, and the solar the heated water also has to be plumbed up to that area. All right, Dad. There job. we go. Yet another job completed. I got our cooler a little dusty. Oh! <laughs> no crackages? Looks clean too. How does it look from the front with that much of an overhang? That looks okay from the front like that. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> yep, it's still heavy. Now for the light one. That's not sarcasm, is it? No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Should we set it in and see what it looks like? That's gonna have to come back out, but I'm really curious. Yeah, let's do it. It looks pretty good in there. I'm really liking it. Before we get all the plumbing into this thing and push it back in and set it in there finally, we need to trim the edges of it behind it because it is setting away from the wall. So you'll be able to see the trim. Yeah, so we got. So yeah. Little room. <laughs> I'm thinking we should start with the bigger pieces first. Yeah. So the two sides of the doors. Does that only make sense to you, I think, babe? I don't even know if it makes sense to me. You got some plumbing there? On the wall between the shower tub area to the courtyard, that wave, we're still building that third layer of bottles. And we have about half of them now done. And we want to get those installed because we want to let an earth bag layer on that. Finishes off the top of the wall that comes up and over across. And we need to put those in so that we can interweave so we can continue on the tub side wall. Ready to start the day? Last one for today. Last Mohican. All right. You'll love to see it. Guns Bryson. What's up, guys? Just beautifying the walls. Mm -hmm. I wet the dirt down over there, so we should have nice and damp dirt to work with. Look at that. Looks beautiful. These little wooden pieces that we embed into the bag so we can hang things. I want to put a bunch at this kind of eye level. Little chunks of two by fours and just putting nails on either side. I think that's probably just the easiest way to do it. We'll appreciate that they're there. That's how far we got to go. I measured like what, five layers? Probably more like four, but... Four is the hopeful number, but reality is probably five. We are scooping, cruising for a bruising. 
but skid steer is amazing. The tool allows us to work low and to work high. So we can get dirt up and over walls and we can get dirt to areas that are hard to reach from the ground without having to go up to a ladder. Okay, right there! <laughs> There's a crack up. So now you'll be over there? Kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> well, not for you, but for me. It's a bit of a precarious situation. Get him a scissors, that bag's too long. The idea is just that the bags crisscross on top of each other to tighten up a corner. We're not going to be using any more cleats for a little bit, so that's the best way to tie them together. It's kind of like Legos, you know, you stack a Lego wall so that they crisscross and they tie everything together. How are we doing? Try not to Did be you know? prickly. <laughs> Huh? Right. How's the song go? I'm as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Bri? So it's not young? No. I'm not as young as I once was. I got a few years on me now. There's a tree in the way. <sighs> Being there, we're gonna be like, ha ha. You know, I don't really like that tree there. Let's cut it down, guys. We've dealt with it this long. <laughs> we deal with way. it the whole time and then. And then they're just like, yeah, we don't really <laughs> like that tree there. Actually, I think it's gonna be okay. Though. You can't see up from the video here, but we have been doing cleats along that post every third layer. We're high enough now that we won't be using any more cleats on that, our cleat system. Numero uno. That's gonna fit perfect, I think. Mobile life, you gotta notch all your trim because I don't set the light switches that far off. Better notched. Nice, looks good. Use the first time's charm. Looks good. Yeah, that'll do. You have my pencil in there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We had talked about and thought about using this cabinet here, kind of building another cabinet that sits inside of it, and just as another place to store stuff. But I don't think we're gonna need it. Um, we got drawers in the new vanity and shelves in the new vanity, and we're gonna put two medicine cabinet things. Yeah, originally we talked about just putting a flat mirror across there so we wouldn't have the extra medicine cabinet space, so that was kind of gonna be our medicine cabinet. But mm -hmm. now that we decided to use those other ones, I'm gonna make for that one. Huh? Yeah. I'm just gonna take and fill it in. You'll never know it's there, hopefully. This piece is already textured. Ooh. Perfect. Do you want the texture side out or would you rather retexture? Um, me and the texture side out. Perfection. Probably should get all this stuff out of there, huh? <laughs> Time for the texture master to come in. <laughs> More yes. like a professional. <laughs> Are we ready for mud? Yeah. Now, even though I'm a professional, <laughs> I've never done it over tape before. <laughs> <laughs> When I saved these bottles a while back, I didn't save the lids with them. So I'm just gonna tape up the top. It's probably not a big deal if the stuff got in them, but I figure it has more chance to get in light through if we don't have dirt or mortar in there. What's up, Mom? We're just putting more bottles on it. Oh, we'll bring them in. it's Merc Wall. <laughs> this stuff set up real nice too, Mom. The nice. hardest part is trying to remember to keep those either up or down. <laughs> Isn't it free? Yeah. We keep putting the icky side out accidentally. Yeah, so we're not supposed to do that. Because we're so focused on trying to get it That's, in there that we... Yes. That one's so on the verge, but I'm just gonna... I could maybe twist it. 
Once you get them in there, you hate so to twist funny. them. It's okay, I'll wear off. We're mortaring between and we're just putting them in like we would bricks. What we want to do is every chance we get, put a few more layers of bottles in so that they can solidify and we can keep growing that bottle wall up at a nice pace. And hopefully that wall will stay real strong by us doing that. Got a little bit of plumbing stuff to fix here. The standoffs here for my water inlet. These come up right in the center, which is right where all the drawers are. So I can't just poke them through the bottom. I'm gonna switch over to something like this. That way I can run my water underneath the cabinet and over a little bit. Got the little valves on. Gonna put some spray foam in there. Ooh. Whoa. It's gonna be like over the knot. <laughs> Bend me a bummer. Spray it. <laughs> Try it at me. Nice. I'm gonna drill a hole inside of the vanity. Should have cut this side first and prevented that tear out. Oh well, it's inside, you'll never see it. Are you ready to move this thing in? I think so. Those guys. Oh, that looks so cool, man. Yeah. Wow. Dad's idea, put this down here. Act like a glue. Yeah, Dad, don't you remember? It's my idea. Problem is, he didn't remember it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it my idea. Yo, okay. packs. That's what we need. We wanted the lumps, right? Yep. Let's take out the brick. Oh yeah, we want the lumpy side. I think, or is that too lumpy? Whoa. Good the one. wind is really weird. It blows against you and you sometimes overcorrect. Or maybe the wind is actually blowing me over. We don't really know. That'd be kind of a fall off adventure. The ground's gonna catch me. It'd be a let down. <laughs> or a not let down. I cut it too short. <laughs> cut it twice and it's still too short. You know, it took me a while to get that joke. He, he said it more than twice and I still don't get it. How about you? these bags before you tamp them? Oh, they're tamper. Is they're awfully soft and they're kind of fun to sit on. Once they get tamped, no. But when they're not tamped, they kind of like... Embrace kind of, your bottom. Yeah, it's kind of like a chair. <laughs> Memory it, foam. I don't see those bottles going anywhere. Uh -uh. No, they're not going anywhere. You see them go two more layers above this? Yeah, probably. Now you want a little bit of foldover room, so you want about that much foldover room. The side has about that much foldover room. Creates an arm length. Perfect. Apparently I was long. Man, it looks so perfect too. It's so hard to get these right, isn't it, Mom? We're always a little bit too short, or a little wrong. bit too long. I don't know, this is pretty close. It was close. Who's having fun? Who's having fun? What are you doing? He's having fun. He's having fun. Moving ready. on. Ready. This wall is not so small no more. Dig, dig, dig. Where's the bag? Not my hands. Dig. Not my hands. Dig. So why has he got the training collar? He's taken it into his head to Maybe chase good. after the UPS wheels of the car of their car. It was a couple weeks ago. He about scared the absolute snot out of me, and I was like, "Okay, we're done." So it is for his own safety. I'm so afraid he's gonna get squished. And he's doing good. He's doing super good. I've not had to zap him. <laughs> so a little buzz. A little buzz, huh? You're doing good on the little buzz. The wall is definitely getting tall. Yeah. It's nearly done. I think we have maybe one or two more layers to do on it, but I'm having a hard time visualizing what it's gonna look like here. Can Get you this, visualize? Yeah, I'm kind of seeing where the stucco is gonna go on, the bottles are gonna come through, then you'll pick whatever paint color you wanna put on the outside. Yeah, I'm kind of seeing it come together. Exciting to see Shelly's design come through and the artistic part of it, the flow of her swirls and her waterfall and her wave and the big stones that she put put in. That's all very, very cool. The spot that we've patched in on the wall is dry now. I'm going to give it a quick coat of paint so it all blends in and looks nice. Hey babe, I got it all painted. You can see. Ooh.
Whee! That looks good. You have perfect texture. What I say? Texture master. I'm so glad we decided to fill in that wall. Me too. It was gonna be crowded. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. You ready then to put the top on this thing? Yeah, let's do it. I can already feel my back popping out of all the sockets. <laughs> Nothing that a little paint won't fix. <laughs> wow, that looks go. nice. I'm really glad we did the countertop all the way to the edge. I can't believe how seamless we were able to make it. Like cutting those drawers off, I thought sure it was gonna look either chingered up or we'd have to repaint it or whatever. I just, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Fits in there great. And honestly, it looks better than anything I think I could have built anyway. <laughs> no. Gosh. We just need some faucets for it now, some lights. We're getting close on the bathroom. Yeah, we're moving along. It's really coming together. <laughs> we want to wish you a very happy new year. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for the very first podcast of the year. Happy New Year! Woo! May your 2021 be awesome. Yeah! Yes. Every year we do a ladies and a gentleman's puzzle and we have to complete them before the New Year's and whoever completes them first has the better year. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but uh, it's a little competition that we usually have. Bree did the puzzles this year. She drew the images and bought the puzzles. Azalea's, which is really cool because we get an addition to the family and then we got an addition to the company, which is this good done. Both really cool things that happened in 2020. And well, as you can see, this is January 1st, and we didn't quite complete them due to the fact that there are thousand piece puzzles. And there are a lot. <laughs> but we got really close, so we'll have to complete them throughout today now. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Oh, yes. Oh, look at your mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looks super nice. Yes, it does. It's not coming off. Ooh, don't lick it. That's nasty. Yeah, yeah, you just shake the chair up, rip, you know, tear it up, and then it's all ready, and then you sit in it, and it hardens. What are you doing? family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Whoa, I really zoomed in on your face. I like really zoomed in. This thing can get so close. Look at this. Close this can get. Well, got extra zoom on it. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hello. She's like, what, five feet away from me, and I'm zooming in. I'm staring at her face. It's taking up the whole screen. Ew, what? Uh, turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be that close to anybody. Okay. <laughs>